getting everything they're getting everything all loaded and um, I'm just about to go over here I got Scotty's flag hung up you know I got Scotty's picture we're gonna go over here and draw see how this goes see who's doing it this week um but yeah hopefully I draw better than I did last night last night I drew like 26 so we'll see before four. Everything's ready to go. We're just waiting on a driver's meeting. Um, they've restored electric to the pits and the concessions. Um, so tonight there's the Mike Reed Memorial Race, the Mountain Man Reads, and there's it's like 3,000 to win and there really is not many cars here. There's Wyatt Scott and Dave Scott, uh, Mikey Wonderling. That's really all I see unless they're all the way down to the other end. Um, at least up here at this end of the pits. So, I don't know. Let's look. Somebody with pit lights. Usually if somebody has pit lights, they're a late model. But, oh no, those are the Mini 6. Well, there's a couple good size haulers out there, so I don't know, still there not very many. We thought we had to get here early because parking would be a bitch, but it's not. Well Neffy turn this around. Neffers had to haul my brother's trailer because my dad and my brother were camping over the weekend. My stepmom and my sister in law were doing a craft show and my dad's truck took a crap on the way to the campground Friday night. So Rich from Rich's Towing and Recovery went and picked it up I guess and uh, or I think at least that's what it looked like in the picture that it was Rich and old Neffers called her to the track tonight. I don't even think my brother's here yet though. So Mr. Oaks thinks he's gonna fit his big giant hauler down at the front end of the pits. This is gonna be funny. <laughs> That big ass taller is not gonna fit down there. This is gonna be funny. I don't even know how he thinks he's gonna get it over there, but this will be interesting. Stay tuned. going to be able to make that swing. Oh my garage. Huh. 
<laughs> I might have to eat my words on this one. That thing ain't gonna fit down there. We ain't gonna be able to water the track again. I want to see this happen. I'd sell it, buy one appropriate the size. I was like, what the hell is that? I'm like, oh, it's running cards, you see. Like what Karen has? Oh, no. It's a little shopping cart. Yeah. I'm missing the action over here. Hey, Jeff. Um, I don't know, you were there. Over there. Yeah, mine, I know what? Larry Mitchell's a little bit there this week. Why? Because he has a um, engine that was built for street stock in Genesee. Good thing I use that gate anymore.
heat was interesting. Took the checkers, that's all that really matters. But, you know, we acquired a new debt. No, oh, you'll cut your hand. Somebody go grab me the duct tape. Somebody grab me the duct tape. Duct tape? In the white box. Race tracks always have the best sunsets. It's just a fact. That's all there is to it. to edit the vlog which ended up being ridiculous long and I had to do two parts um, race recap Saturday night at Hummingbird Dennis won his heat and finished fourth again on Sunday at Bradford Dennis won his heat and finished fourth so um, 
both those wins were for Scotty. Um, I'm really at a loss of words when it comes to talking about Scotty. Um, he will forever be in our hearts. Um, Mark and Danielle, Rachel, Mitchell, and their significant others, um, we will always consider you guys family. Always. So with that, I am going to close out the vlog and just remember, be fast or be last.